and we're back for another video tribute to me my channel Deb Chanel's 40s world and I'm Deb Chanel so welcome welcome over to the house y'all yeah hun. We got another story to talk about <laughs> we got another story to talk about tonight lord I don't know what is wrong with Nene Leaks. Nene Leaks is falling apart right before our dear eyes okay I don't know what's going on with her or why she feels she needs to play this game of not caring about her fans because if y'all haven't saw one of my videos uh, that I recently put out about Nene one of her fans tried to approach her in a wig store and she she didn't get them no play <laughs> She ain't get on no play, Lord. She was like, I don't know you. I don't want to know you. Could you be, please vanish from my sight? Type of scenario situation she gave them, okay? But anyway, needless to say, they blasted her on their social media. And I'm sure it got a lot of, uh, maybe a lot of people went to her Instagram account and just messed up her comment section, okay, for the negative. But anyway, you know, I roll with Celebrity Insider for all my news I can use. I do use other people as well. But Celebrity Insider is one of my go-to type of people. You know, I use UrbanBellMag.com. And who else? Is all about the tea. But Celebrity Insider, they just piqued my interest. And I am um, signed up to their email addresses or a platform where they email me salacious stories before it hit my um video feed so i guess i always look to them to bring out my entertainment gossip news okay only way that i can do and that's the deb chanel's way okay but anyway hi we got a story they're mel walker she's a correspondent over there journalist or correspondent however you want to see her but she wrote out a nice piece on miss nene leaks okay her article goes in to read nene leaks drops a bombshell about her future on the real housewives of atlanta i'm like nene where you going <laughs> girl where are you going who else pay you the money that you command to be paid unless you're trying to get a gazillion dollars out of Bravo, which I'm sure you're not going to get. You're not sitting at that table where we eat nice, plush, and kosher, okay? No, you can't eat at the table where the elite eat, Nene, okay? You're not part of that um, entourage. You're not part of that bloodline. You're just not part of it, baby. They'll let you eat, but not at their table, okay? They make people like you entertain people like them, okay? You're not on that section. I don't know where you thought you was, but you're not, baby. You're not. So play your role. Get your money. Get your fame and fortune that you desire, you deserve, how you put it, and keep living your life, all right? I don't see anything wrong with your life. You don't have to work for a living. If you want to call this work by getting on a platform, acting as ratchet as you possibly can, bring in so much drama that people just can't believe. It's my, almost like you're giving them jaw drop type of material. And they just like, you're an addiction or you're an, uh, 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 a source of their addiction to having to have to come in and watch you every Sunday. It's like the anticipation is so strong, they can't get through the week fast enough for Sunday to come for them to partake of your antics, baby. I'm like, what's going on? You know, Real Housewives of Atlanta is your staple name as you claim it. Okay, you said you the OG, you the queen of the camp, okay, of Real Housewives of Atlanta, that you ain't going nowhere. This is your baby. You brought birth to it, and you're going to cradle it until the wheels fall off, okay? As how many seasons, how many episodes, you want to be a part of it everything now you're trying to say i'm like I, I don't know how to spin this other than stupidity okay that you would even fester up the energy to say well, i don't know i have to talk to my team i don't know if it's gonna be lucrative for me allegedly to continue to be on this show i, I don't know honey you don't need no team i don't think you need to look at mr gas bill mr light bill Mr. Rent, if you don't own your house, meaning like Candy Bird, she owns her house from what I understand. She's praying, um, what do you call it? Um, 
day when you pay for your house taxes she paying taxes two times a year if not all at once at the end of the year can you say that nene mm, seem like the old new i mean the new og be not the old OG. Okay, I'm just saying you got new OGs and you got, well, I said not, not new. Let me take that back. Young OGs, okay? You got young season uh, um, OGs and you got the season season OGs where you and I are fitting in that type of pattern, uh, that frame of uh, Jennifer, um, Jennifer, gender uh, edification, okay? Yes, with our age, we're 50. I'm 51, you're 52. You know, we're very seasoned. We're at the peak of our latter end of our life. We don't live the century plus a year, okay? And, uh, well, half of a century, I meant to say, plus one year. Uh, well, two years for you, one year for me. Um, and it just is what it is. But for you to arbitrarily just throw to the wind, you know, because somebody might pick up that button and say, okay, well, since you don't seem like you want to be here with us anymore at the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the franchise that built you, the household name, all this, all that, you don't want it no more? Okay, fine. <laughs> We've been grooming other candidates to take your place anyway because we're getting tired of you coming to us saying four million is not enough. I need 40 million. Uh, then if 40 million is not going to be enough, I need a trillion, okay? And it's not going to work out for you like that, Nene, because you're greed. You're greedy. When is it enough to say, this is enough for me if I add on good, but if I don't, I'm still good. You see what I'm saying? Because you got swags out there in three locations. Um, hey, what happened to your clothing line? That you, okay, you, I, okay, maybe that took up from because you were selling it with shn online clothing sales or something like that you know when you were out there uh, around the christmas time selling your pieces you wanted to bring out and, and sell and sell out for the uh season or whatever i don't know what you were doing but that's what you were doing a year ago and sometimes before that but now you got swags in three locations i think where is it damn it's in one of them in texas one of them in las vegas and here in georgia so in fact, check us get into the comments if I got that wrong, you know, because I don't want to give y'all misleading information when I think I know something for a fact, okay? Because all my stories over here is just allegedly, okay? I'm just giving y'all my spin on how I see it from my perspective, okay? That's my disclaimer. Okay. But anyway, yeah, Nene, got another story out here. Mel walk over here saying that you want to... You don't think you coming back for season 13. Nene, how many times you don't say that, girl? And the time that you did go out, I think it was two seasons you did go out. Um, and one for sure, we know you went out. You didn't do so well, baby. You got more exposure in something that you weren't privy to and you didn't know anything about it as far as the acting and all that. Because what happened to your acting coach you was working with? Some older lady that she was working with in California. What happened with that, honey? Or were you just doing that to give, give yourself street credit that you work with a uh, person that works with actors trying to develop them? Was that all that for that, for that glee thing that you went out there for and then you was doing that little um, Broadway play thing you were in? I, mean, I, don't, I don't know, Nene. Just because one time you do something, that gives the good source of reference on your resume but that don't mean you solidified yourself now solidification and reality ratchet tv shows oh you you the boss in there honey everybody know you for that but for you to come in a role and be a comedian a real stand-up comedian that can make people laugh on the drop of a dime as well as going out being an actress on a soap opera or a, a movie of some sort, or even a sitcom. Mm, not so much, boo. I mean, you had your little stink in Glee, and you only had so many episodes, but even the time that I watched it, I really wasn't impressed. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I wasn't impressed. But Real Housewives of Atlanta or reality shows, now I can get with you on that because it's just fake, fraudulent, and foolishness that you're giving us. So, I mean, that's cool. I, I got to know you that way. That's why I know you. But all these other accolades you're trying to add on to your resume, hmm, I think it's just soft fluff, okay? But let's get on into the story. I don't tear it a little bit too long than I had anticipated. You know I'm always doing that. I might check myself sometime on that, okay? That's why I look down at my screen. 
and it tells me how long I've been recording. And we're nine minutes in, and I'm sure I just talked a lot, rambled a lot for some of you all. But like I tell y'all, give me time. It's my channel. I have to get my thoughts together, and sometimes I go in my tangents, and I have to bring up other stuff that kind of blends into what my real video is about. But sometimes some people get it, some people don't, okay? I will be dropping wisdom of knowledge up in here sometimes. But for those who can hear, hear. Those who can see, see. All right, but getting back into the article or going into the article, it says there is a big possibility that Nene Leakes might be exiting the Real Housewives of Atlanta after being part of the series since it was launched on Bravo. Yeah, this is what they're saying now. All of this is allegedly. I don't think we know unless they would have came out and said a true source. So maybe it's just hearsay, but I'm just putting it out there for y'all to partake of. Okay? Okay. Every season, there are heated exchanges between the ladies and sometimes wigs come off and a glass of wine even spill. I could tell about, you know, the dragging of the weed. That's Kenya Moore and Portia. The spilling of the glass, that's kind of sort of like, uh, what that show Evan uh, Lozado is on? Uh, Basketball Wives now. I see the spilling of the wine over there. And sometimes I see it on Mary the Medicine, but I, I don't know. I have never seen no wine flying in the air, but. I might have missed the episode. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it says, however, it seems that Leeks, who has a bitter feud with Kenya Moore, is thinking about her future, and she no longer sees the constant bickering with cast mates in it. Well, that's what brings the drama. That's what we look for, Nene. We don't want to see you going around your house and in your confessionals just talking about, oh, my life is so wonderful. Ooh, what can I do now? Should I go and eat at uh, Tayo's downtown or... Uh, should I go to uh, some other kind of fa fancy restaurant up at the Cheesecake Factory or uh, should I, you know what I'm saying, it's too much, too much. Should I go to Chop? Should I go to Bones? Should I, you know, uh, nobody want to see that, Nene. We don't want to see that. We come to you to give us drama. We come to you to have you feuding with every last castmate you can find yourself feuding with on the show. That's what we come to and sit down for this mindless drama for you to entertain us and the rest of the ladies to entertain us, whoever's been shown at the time. That's what we want. That's what we desire, honey. All this other little fluff stuff you're doing, we don't care. We, we really don't. Live your best life out the, off the camera. We give us drama. That's what we're here for. That's what Bravo is paying you for. So get with it or, uh, or leave it alone. You don't want my loving. I'll be gone. I'll be gone. Okay. Mm. Okay, it says the veteran of the Real Housewives of Atlanta did a recent interview with Hollywood Life where she was asked if she is planning to return for season 13 of the hit show and she had the following to say, I don't know. What don't you know about it? Is that not your live, real revenue stream? Think about it. Put the light bulb to your ears, to your tempo. Is that not? Stop playing us, Nene. Just go on and say, yeah, I plan to be. Every time they taping, I plan to be there. Every time the, 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 the show is rolling, I plan to be there. I'm rocking with this. Four flat ties down, and we're going to roll out until they say it. They put a plug, and we go into signification, hopefully. And then I'll still get resi residuals from the show. Yes, I'm going to be here. Where else I'm going to be unless the Lord take me home? That's what she should have said. That would have been honesty, and that would have been true to form or what an OG presents themselves like. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay. But she said, I don't know. I really don't know that. I never really know what I'm doing until the season is, is over and we talk about it. Who are you talking about it with, Nene? You, yourself, and women. Well, how to say me, myself, and I? He, she, we, it? What are you, who are you talking about? Who are you having a discussion about? Because if it's Greg you talking about, he going to tell you, baby, stay. Stay. You know I ain't working. I don't even know if he paid taxes in for retirement. If he didn't, oh, well, but, hey, how you going to afford that house? How you going to afford them cars? How you going to afford the life that Greg has come, come accustomed to living to? He ain't going back to poverty. He don't like that life. And I'm sure you don't either. They need know your two kids. That's dependent on you as well as your grandchildren. Okay? Nene, you have to work, boo. You have to work. And Real Housewives of Atlanta is your bread and butter. Stop dissing it before it does get taken from you. Then what will you do? What will your tax store? I'm not tax. Ooh, let me let it back. Swag stores do. What would they do, honey? Because you got to have revenue for them to keep rolling. 
and being productive where people can come in your three locations and see what you got to have for them to purchase, okay? I'm just saying that it's slow your roll. Think about it. But anyway, she said, uh, going back to the article, it said the reality TV star went on to confess that things having have been happening behind the scenes that are not fair. You're whining, Nini, again, you're whining. Uh, and she added, I just think there's a lot of things that aren't fair, just things that behind the scenes, things you that you guys don't get to see. So I just have to talk with my team and decide what's best for me. Your team is going to say continue in your uh, current employment because they need to get paid and you're not hot on them streets like you think you are. We can get you side gigs, Nene, but you need to keep your behind there at the Real Housewives of Atlanta and we'll go into negotiations. We'll fight just like a union would fight okay but let's keep it real let's keep it honest you can say whatever you want out in them streets on that social media platform but we know we see each other we need to get paid you need to get paid we like our lifestyle our lifestyle ain't like yours too much but we like our current lifestyle and i'm sure put to test you like your lifestyle you don't want to downsize that house you don't want to downsize them cars okay let's just keep seeing each other and let's keep doing this real housewives of atlanta that's what they don't told you so you come out here and say anything you ever want to do up to the sky down to the floor don't matter real housewives of atlanta you're gonna stay put but you're gonna tell us anything but we know the real truth we see each other then okay uh but anyway going back to the office says she also spoke about her relationships with more no kenya's return didn't frustrate me yes it did nene and you could have came out and said okay she's a competitor she's competing we're competing against each other but it's nice competition I welcome her. Hopefully, she welcomes me. Let the games begin. That's all she had to say. That's her OG being real. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no sweat off me. Do like, uh, what's his name, Jay? He said, go on, dress your shoulders off. Ladies or pimps, and go on, brush your shoulders off. Yeah, honey. That's what we've been doing that. But anyway, Kenya could have learned something that day. Or she will learn. She will learn that day. All right. But anyway. She goes on to say, I don't care to think about Kenya. I'm a pretty strong girl. That's suspect, okay? That's up for debate. All right, in my book. Over here, Deb Chanel's 40s word. Look, I'm just saying. Deb Chanel already pulled your card. I ain't have no intentions of bringing it back this year because you ain't showed me nothing. You ain't showed me that maybe next year. God willing, maybe next year. But anyway, she says she's a strong girl, and Kenya honestly cannot handle me. Kind of killing you don't wrap all kind of circles around you. you. We got you over there as one of them. We don't want you in a dust storm or something. We don't think tumbleweed. She got you looking like a tumbleweed right now. Okay, she done tornadoed all the way around you, tore you to pieces, put you on the roof, put you in the uh, the, the river, brought you back out, let you dry it out, and now you just tumble like a tumbleweed in a desert island. That's what Kenya done did to you, boo. She she came, saw concrete, and put you to the side. We're looking for somebody else to match up with her. We're looking at Marlo right now. So rest if you must rest. But when you get ready to come back in the game, let us know and come with all of your wits. Because right now, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You, you make me feel ashamed, really. You make me feel ashamed. But anyway, going on, back to the article. It says, she went on to say, I see... Uh, kind of that starting to show a little bit of these other girls' personalities. Because I have felt like over the years, a lot of girls have gotten passes for whatever reason. Maybe there just wasn't a character they didn't want the viewers to see. Uh, but this year, I feel like they are showing these girls a little bit more true to, to who they are on the show. Okay. One fan told the businesswoman, I watched it live last night. And when it happened, I was like, bravo, bravo to Nene for keeping it real. Rewearing something in her closet. And then I thought, damn, Andy is out and out his fave. And so I thought, hmm, is her, you know, is it coming to an end? I thought the same thing too, but Andy was just trying to throw shade. He always throw shade. He throw muff, most rougher shade at, it seems like, the urban women that he do the uh caucasian women as y'all may get mad at me y'all may see what you gotta say but that's how i feel about it that's what i've been seeing when i look and partake of certain things and certain questions he asks he just had to remember what genre he's in what uh race and culture he's in before he picks the questions you know he all like two snaps in the circle but when he go to beverly hills he all plush uh uh 
straight pointed up and you know it's just another whole atmosphere is what i'm saying another whole atmosphere but like i said nanny could have like and are you gonna give me your credit card because then i'll make sure i don't repeat wardrobes on if it's that much of a um uh, insightful view that you have to bring up my apparel my accessories then i'm gonna make sure because you're gonna hand over your credit card willingly and then every time we have an event that i need to look good in i'm gonna charge it on your card okay because i don't care over here at the camp at the least camp we we recycle we'll wear t-shirts if we can get away white t-shirts every day if we can get away with it and people won't talk so bad about us on social media i'm just keeping it real i am so keeping it real but you know do what you can. Do what you can. Sticks and stones, Andy. Sticks and stones. <laughs> and I would have tossed a wine glove, uh, goblet at him like, whew, deuces, huh? and a mazel tov or whatever, mazel or whatever they say. Okay. But anyway, the ending of the article, it suggests, would you miss Leaks if she leaves the show? Can more handle Leaks' fire and attitude? Honey, yes, can you can handle all of it and throw it right back at her. They just playing tennis right now, but she don't set out because she don't injured herself. So it's Marlo playing tennis, serving up back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until Nene want to jump back into the game. That's what I got over here. That's what I'm going with, okay? But I express my opinions to you all on this salacious story of an article that Celebrity Insider brought out through the help of Mel Walker. I think that was her name. Let's go back. Mel Walker. Yeah, Mel Walker. And y'all know my opinions on this particular piece. Get down in them comments. Let me know. Do you think Nene done had it? That she's washed up? That she really shouldn't come back? And we will miss her, but we have to move on. We want people that give us energy, foolishness, fuckery, and anything that can entertain us. Okay? Keep us entertained at least 30 minutes. I mean, they give us an hour, but if you entertain me 30 minutes, I can deal with the fluff fluff you want to give me on the side here and there. Okay? But entertain me. All right? If I sit down graciously at my TV screen... Tune in to you all out the paying a highest cable bill. Please entertain me, okay? Please entertain me. I done gave you my time. I done gave you my, uh, I don't know how many viewers that come into the show, how, how y'all got paid through the help that I'm filming. I mean, I'm watching you on my screen and the stats are going up for you guys. You know, hey, let's entertain us. Let's You entertain me, I entertain you. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Give and get. Give and get. That's the kind of society we're living in these days, all right? Nothing's for free. I always remember that. I don't care what nobody say. Nothing is for free. Only love. Love is the only thing that I can say is free. You can give it or you don't, okay? Some people charge for it call prostitution but I, <laughs> I don't know that's what they say okay but anyway thank you for um letting me entertain you thank you for coming by the house listening and we're talking about different trending topics out there but don't forget to subscribe 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 okay don't take anything serious over here. It's just entertainment. It's just I am giving you my spin on what's trending out there on social media. And I want to talk with you about it. I would love to hear your opinions and your perspectives, okay? Because they may differ. And sometimes some things I get on here and talk about, you have different opinions. And I feel strongly about that. I think your uh, opinions are valid. They may not match with mine, but hey, I feel my opinions are valid. So I have to validate your opinions and your perspectives just as long as you do it respectfully okay but that's all i had get down in them comments let me know what you thought about it don't forget to like my video share my videos and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so okay and thank you for all of my current subscribers new old ones thinking about come on over come on over a house a house and i live here hey, hey. It's my house, and I live here, oh, uh, uh, and I welcome you each time you come, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we'll talk to the sun, comes again, comes out, comes in, comes out, okay, I'm fine, I, I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> I just thought I wanted to say it to y'all, okay, because I can do that, but anyway, y'all have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow from some sort of video, okay, good night, guys.